All right, now we are going to do our drawing for this first little bit of story that we heard. So let's read what we've written here. Yahweh said, let there be light, and there was light. He made the sun and the moon, the earth and the heavens. He created the birds, fish, and animals. Last, Yahweh created man and woman in his image. He saw it was good and he rested. So now let's go to the next page. And we're going to do our drawing in this direction. So put your spine at the top. And we're going to build up these days of creation. So the first thing we want to do is we'll start with, with the darkness. I'm gonna figure out which of these blues I wanna use. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. Um, this is the one that is kind of a, I would call it a cornflower blue. Not, it's not my more greenish blue. I'm not exactly sure what blues you guys have, but so it doesn't matter too, too much. This is just the, the blue I'm gonna use is this one. So I'm gonna start and don't, um, don't get ahead of me because you're, you're not going to um, know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be building this up. So either draw right with me or watch the whole video and then you could watch it again as you draw or you could just draw yours, but don't get ahead of me. We're gonna start by putting in some of that darkness because at first everything was dark. I'm gonna bring that darkness around here, but I'm not gonna fill in my whole page. Don't fill in the whole page. All right, so first we had this darkness. And Yahweh said, let there be light. And there was light. So here comes the light into the darkness. And there was day and there was night. Now let's make it kind of, let's make it even darker over here to show that, um, you know, here's sort of our day and our night, but it's also, we have the heavens up here, which are kind of dark. And I'm going in with my other blue that's a little bit greener. And I'm gonna bring in the ocean. So he created the waters. Now watch what I do here. I'm gonna bring in my water like a wave. And then I'm gonna bring this up not only am I making the water, but I'm also going to make, just like Yahweh up here, I'm going to make the land. There, so now you can see where the land and the water meet. And up here we have the heavens. And I'm even going to bring a little bit of red up here into the heavens. And this just even makes it darker and makes our daytime sky look a little bit beautiful and red up there too. Oh, isn't that beautiful? And there were lights in the sky so we can take our yellow crayon and we can put some stars up there. It's hard to see them, but that's okay. Now, normally if we were in person, we would be doing this as a painting, but we don't have, um, I don't have a way to send home paints with everyone. so. We're just gonna do it with our crayons. And I'm gonna even draw a little sun up here and I know it's gonna be a sort of green sun, but that's okay. We could even draw a little moon over here. Maybe just a little crescent moon. There, now we can see our nighttime, our daytime, our water, our land. Next, what came next? Let's make some fish in the sea. So I'm gonna start by building up kind of a circle and I'm gonna 
draw that into a teardrop shape like that. Then I'm going to come and give it, give my fish some little fins and connect it so that they look like a fish fin. And I can make lots of fish. There we go. Now he's got a friend. Maybe we'll, we'll make another one. They like to be in big groups. Oh, we need another one. Let me put him here. Maybe over here we've got a big guy. Oh, I hope he doesn't eat those little guys. But he's hungry too. Maybe he needs to eat. All right. Now he needs a friend over here too. A nice big friend. Here's our fish, and he created the animals. Ooh, what kind of animals should we make? I think, hmm, let's make a fox. Foxes are fun animals. Um, we could even bring an orange, bring in an orange crayon here. And I'm gonna draw a little foxy head. So I'm starting with my circle. And then I'm gonna kind of bring out his little foxy snout a little. And his little foxy ears. And then I'm gonna build up his body. His legs. And the back leg's always a little wider at the top. And his big bushy tail, and his tail's really bushy at the end. Okay, now it doesn't quite look like a fox yet, does he? Let's take, let's take a little bit of black, give him some little black on top of his, his little black snout, little black tips there. Maybe little black paws. That looks pretty foxy. Mm, he'd probably have a white little tail, but I don't, I don't really have a way to make white there. Then we have man and woman. So let's draw a person here. I'm gonna start with a head. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this red. It'll, it'll turn out, um, it'll just look more interesting that way. So I make my head and then bring down a neck into the body. And I'm gonna come back to that body. I'm gonna make my shoulders come across here. And this guy is so happy to be alive. He's just raising up his arms, shouting for joy. He's pretty happy to have been created. All right, now we can build up his body a little bit more now that we know where his arms are. And then we can start thinking about some legs here. And we don't need to worry about clothes. It's kind of like it's a silhouette or something. Give him some feet there. His arms look like they need just a little bit longer. Oh, he's happy. Okay. Now, of course, what's missing? Hmm. I think we need, I think we need some food. So let's make a tree. Um, let's come back in with the orange crayon. And I'm going to make my tree start down here. So it's like it's starting on the, the ground. And you see, I'm kind of pushing up with my block crayon, making those roots of the tree. And then I can come up here and start making branches. And just to make that look a little more brown, I'm gonna come in here with blue afterwards. And just go over the same lines that I went over before. 
Okay, and now I'll use some green. Get a nice summery kind of tree. And let's put the food on that tree so that our guy has something to eat. He's got some apples. Okay. Oh, that's lovely. So there's our picture for creation.